The purpose of a subassembly is to group parts together so they can be used in other rockets. Uh, ideally, they're used for uh, things like payload bays and engine mounts. And I'm going to create a subassembly of an engine mount. <coughs> so first I'm going to select the body tube, and then I'm going to click the subassembly. That means I'm going to start a new subassembly. And is it owned by the body tube? I'm going to say yes. So now we have the subassembly, <clears throat> and I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call it uh, BT50 engine mount. And then at this time, I'm going to say set OK. After we add all the parts to it, we'll come back to this subassembly and then save it to the database. So at this point, now I'm going to start adding parts to the subassembly. So the first part is I'm going to add my inside tube. There's the tube. Let me move that over a little bit. <clears throat> Let's say it's three inches, and I'm going to do from the base of the owning part. And I'm going to move it all the way to the back of the rocket. I'm going to say this is an engine mount. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to tweak this length a little bit just so that it extends all the way out the back of the rocket. And now I'm going to say from the base of the owning part. And click OK. Now we'll add to that centering rings. Actually the centering rings are going to go on the outside and these are going to be 1824 centering rings. So we're going to start there and then just going to modify the size. Right now it's up there at the front. Automatically calculate and we're going to change the location. I'll put one right here. We'll call this one the front centering ring. Everything else is okay. I'm going to, there's that centering, and I'm going to copy it by going to the edit menu, copy, and then edit, paste. So there's the other centering ring. I'm going to edit that and call it the rear centering ring. And then I'm going to move its location. I'll make it 30 inches. Too far. Let's make it uh, 20, come on, 28. Okay, so there's that centering ring. That's the rear centering ring. Okay, so now I have my sub assembly and I can go and we're going to edit that and then save it to the database. Save parts to and I'm going to save it in the designs folder and I'm just going to call it engine mount. And it's going to give it um, the file type RSA which stands for Rock Sim Sub Assembly. So when you load it into the database that's what you'll load. And we'll click OK. Okay now I'm going to go ahead and delete this and show you how it works. So, so I deleted my sub assembly. Come on, delete. Say so yes. Okay, and now I'm going to add it back. So hit the subassembly button, say yes. And now we're going to load from a file. And there's our engine mount subassembly and click open. And it loaded it right into the rocket. See how simple subassemblies are. So it's a two step process. First, you create the subassembly, add the parts to it, then come back and then resave that subassembly to the database so that you can use it in other designs.